just landed, we got off the plane, and now we're heading to get our rental car. Hey, I'm so happy. Our first stop is, of course, Foodland. I love checking out the hot dish section. They have calamari, chicken and spam bento. Dude, they got ube. Mom, have we seen this before? Not really. Wow. All right, butter mochi is always a must. You gotta get a corner piece. We're gonna grab two of these. Okay, the poke at Foodland is really what we came here for. Best poke ever. We got the bag. <laughs> Guys, the sushi selection here is insane. Oh my gosh, wait, I want one. I am eyeing this spicy tuna crunch roll. Okay, we usually get a classic pog, but I think we're gonna try strawberry guava this time. Guys, look at this placemat Ina found. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. Okay, also this is kind of new. I haven't seen this yet, but they do like potluck platters. Oh my gosh. All right, this is what our cart's looking like. This should hold us over till tomorrow. I got a papaya. Oh, mom got a papaya, her fave. It's a good one. The Foodland bags, you guys, are literally my favorite. I have so many at home already. I don't need another one. Okay, just kidding. We're actually gonna get the poke bag. Ahi? I'm gonna show you Ahi. I think it's really funny because Jada's favorite poke <gasps> I'm gonna show you and mine is Wait, spicy. actually, yeah. It's, it's us in a bag. Period. What do you got there, sir? Okay, my dad loves instant coffee. Comment down below if you're an instant coffee lover because you don't know anything about nuts and coffee if you don't like instant coffee. <laughs> Alright, time to go check out another very essential and important first stop of the trip, Zippies. If you know, you know. If you guys get anything at Zippies, hey mom. <laughs> If you guys get anything at Zippy's, you need to get to the Korean fried chicken plate. Changed my life. Literally would probably be my death row meal. That's what you need to get. It's what I always suggest. We just ordered. I'm so excited. Secured the bag. Oh yeah. I'm gonna eat some of my poke in the car. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Car poke mukbang. It smells so good. Cheers. Cheers. I could cry right now. Mm. Look how beautiful the poke looks in the sun. Guys, we just got to our room. Look at how gorgeous our view is. It is the most beautiful day today. Oh my gosh, you can actually see the very top of Molokai over there, which is so cool. I am so happy and so excited to be here. We haven't been here in about two and a half years and this place is truly me and my family's second home and like our favorite place to ever exist in the entire universe so yeah just feeling so grateful our luggage just came and you know the first thing i'm gonna do put on a bikini and head to the pool or the ocean or some body of water okay guys i just got changed into my bikini clearly this one is from black bow swim and we're about to head to the pool or maybe even the beach i just know that i want a lava flow in my hand and i need to be next to a body of water so we're gonna go do that and we're at the bar getting our lava flow thank you we just got our lava flows mm. cheers. cheers cheers oh yeah this is so good <laughs> this is my ohana we're just chilling watching the gorgeous sunsets over here i finished my lava flow from earlier, it was so good, except I was so full. So I was like falling asleep on my chair over there earlier. Good morning, guys. We have made it 
to the Maui swap meet. It takes place at their college campus here and we're gonna find some cute little souvenirs, some Christmas gifts maybe. Oh my gosh, you guys, this booth has so much Hello Kitty stuff. If I was like 12 years old, I'd want everything. Why do I literally want her? My Melody's my favorite Sanrio character. Literally so much Hello Kitty stuff. They have utensil kits, the wallets, cases. Ooh, this type of booth is what I'm looking for with all the t-shirts, the sarongs. I found Ina in here. Did you find any cute ones? One purple. Oh, that's cute. Look at some hats over there. I love how the hats here are all like vintage looking. I kind of really want this one. Okay, that's cute. But what I like to do is I like to go around one at least one time through all the booths and then I'll come back and buy the stuff because you never know if you're gonna find a better deal somewhere or something. about to make my first purchase of the day. I'm grabbing a couple of shirts for Christmas gifts at this booth right here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, I found a booth with a bunch of cute phone charms. I really want to get this Hello Kitty one. They even have sneaker keychains. Oh my gosh, they're like Jordans. These are so cute. I found a pink and green puka necklace. I'm definitely getting this. Okay guys, we're done with the flea market now and we made it to Tin Roof, which is one of my favorite places to get food here on Maui. If you go, you have to get the fat chow fun. So good. Got it! Just picked up our Tin Roof fat chow fun. Wait, let me show what it looks like. Oh my gosh, this is honestly, this is honestly, the thing I was most looking forward to. I've dreamed about it ever since the last time I had it. Mmm, this is my favorite kind of chow fun. I really dream about this chow fun. The meat is really good too. Look at how fat that chow fun is. Guys. I'll just have a couple of biters right here. Yeah. Bruh. <laughs> Mom, what'd you get? This is so good. Pork belly. Oh, I need to try that. Here. Try Wait, it. no, you try it first, mom. It's yours. I'm gonna try my mom's pork belly now. It looks fire. I love a pork belly moment. Mmm. Nice and crunchy. All right, for dessert, we are stopping at Guri Guri. This is another must try when you're in Maui. Just got our gurry gurry. I got three scoops of strawberry and one scoop of pineapple. Strawberry and pineapple are the only two flavors that they do, but they do them so well. Also, it's really, really cheap for a really good dessert. I'll put on the prices on the screen right here because it's so cheap. This is a must try when you're in Maui. Mm, look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we are currently at Walmart because Walmart is one of the best places to get any souvenirs or snacks or chocolate or literally anything that you want to bring back home for yourself or to your family as gifts. So I'm going to show you guys what kind of stuff they have here. They have a bunch of different shirts here. This section is where they have kind of like a bunch of random stuff like little kitchen towels um, and coasters. They even have stationery. I used to love getting all this stationery here when I was a kid. I was obsessed. Oh my gosh, I used to get a new lanyard here every time. I'm pretty sure I used to have one very similar to this green one. I bought these coasters, I think last year when I came to Hawaii and I'm obsessed with them. They're really good coasters. They even sell a bunch of glassware here. Of course, they got the classic little shot glasses and then they have <laughs> the bikini shot glasses, which is always so funny. And then they also just have all of the like Hawaiian coffee snacks. There you have the macadamia chocolates over there. These, of course, such a classic. You should get that. Poke eating champion. That's actually so funny. Okay, now I'm gonna make my way to the candy section because I actually want to bring home some leaking candies for my cousins and for some of my friends. I love the lychee sour belt. Oh wait, I also love the strawberry ones. We're gonna get one of these. 
Okay, my cousin's favorites, I'm pretty sure, are the sour belts with Lee Hing on them. So I'm gonna get a couple of these for them. I'm also gonna grab the lychee sour belts. Okay, the gummy worms, also so fire. Gotta get one of these. All right, guys, we are in Costco now, and this is where you also need to get snacks and souvenirs to bring home to friends and family. These boxes look like really good Christmas gifts. Oh my gosh, yeah, they even have a holiday flavor, peppermint macadamia. Nina's trying to stock up on her taro chips right now. She's gonna bring like five bags home, apparently. This brand of chocolate right here, the Hawaiian Host, is usually the one we like to get to bring home and give as gifts. The Costco here even has such a large selection of sorongs, so if you're looking for one, they're only $8.99 here. Okay, so this is what our cart is looking like so far. We got some of the Honolulu cookies, some of these. We got corn and steak to make for dinner. Got a big box of Hawaiian host macadamia nuts to bring home. A big jug of pog. Uh, my sister also found Crocs here for only 30 bucks. And then she's also getting like four bags of the taro chips. this one better than at the bar because Ina put more coconut cream in mine and I love coconut cream. We are laying out here on the little lawn chairs. Once again, we've literally done this I think every day we've been here. Have to take advantage of getting some sun and tan during the winter season. It's very bright as you can see, but a gorgeous day. My mom's over there. Mom, say hi. immediately poses. Also brought my trusty little pool floaty with me. I love bringing it in the ocean and just chilling out there. I might go do that later. But yeah, we're just gonna chill here for a couple of hours. It's been a pretty good day so far. <laughs> I'm back from the oh from the pool now. I just washed and rinsed off my body and now I'm just kind of cleaning up my face, taking some makeup off, and I kind of just want to start fresh and put some fresh moisturizer on and everything. But I wanted to take a quick second to talk about the Lahaina fires that happened in Maui earlier this year. Obviously, it is so insanely heartbreaking and sad that the local residents of Lahaina and even just Maui had to experience that and go through that and go through so much loss. It's definitely been super surreal and kind of crazy like having to drive by Lahaina. Like to get to our hotel, you have to drive by Lahaina and you can literally see where the fires took place and how much damage it actually did and it's heartbreaking and and i know i can never truly understand how the local residents that lived in lahaina town feel but there's definitely still like 
a big knot of sadness in my heart when I see those things and even like when I first saw the news about it just because me and my family have been coming to Maui ever since I was super little and Lahaina was always somewhere that we would go some of our favorite local spots were there and sadly obviously like they were they're gone now and when the fires first came out me and my sister we donated a bunch of like old clothes and old shoes my sister works for a hawaiian company so they were like doing donation boxes so we sent over some stuff and while we're here on maui obviously we've been respecting the locals not going into lahaina town obviously and trying to support them in any way today we found these shirts at one of the local markets here and 100 percent of the proceeds go to the i think the red cross um i'll put a little video of like where the donations go to i can't remember exactly the organization but 100 percent of the proceeds go to helping those who were affected by the fire so we bought a couple of these shirts today to help support and before even coming here we've done other things to help support so i just want to address that really quick i know like i'm showing all the fun parts of my trip and everything and i didn't want to go without addressing that obviously we are being so respectful of the locals as you should always be not only in a time like this but just literally anytime you're on a hawaiian island always respect the locals and their beautiful home i just wanted to address that um my heart goes out to anyone who has been affected by the fires in any way shape or form and if you know of anything that you can do to help support go ahead and comment it down below so others can see it and maybe support as well i will try to find some links and put them either on the screen right here or on the bio or like any informational things but anyways i just want to say i'm still super grateful to be here maui is truly me and my family's second home like i said before we've been coming here ever since i can remember seeing it like this is definitely heartbreaking but i'm still glad we get to enjoy all of the other beautiful parts of the island hello hello yeah do you come here I'm doing a vlog clip addressing the fires. Do you have anything to say? What have you been saying? I just like don't want this vlog to be all the fun stuff that I'm showing. Like I want to address that that's happening here, but I don't want to show that in a vlog because obviously it's like not, I don't think it's like my place to show that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I've also done my part in donating. My company, Olakai, was running a donation. Yeah. Did a thing where you can order and all proceeds were going to Lahaina but then we also did like a separate donation we can actually donate money um and then we also donated all of our Olakai shoes in our Whalers, Whalers Village store we donated them to Archie Kapalea who is a well-known man in Lahaina and we brought them all over to his house and the locals were able to grab whatever they wanted um and then I've also just been donating to my tattoo artist in Lahaina yeah um he had his own little like Venmo thing that I've done I didn't mention this but where we got our first tattoo here in Maui that location was in Lahaina unfortunately and our tattoo artist Booch he was literally out there in the fires like Put, putting out down. fires you know helping people get to safety so yeah we've been following him and like trying to support him as well but yeah i kind of just want to address that i didn't want to go without this vlog addressing that i just you know i don't want to show those parts of Lahaina. i don't think it's my place but i just wanted you guys to know that obviously we are very heartbroken by it Hey guys, I'm currently at Whaler's Vin Village with my mom. We're doing a little bit of shopping. I want to pick up a few things that I saw the other day, so let's go. I'm currently in crazy shirt because I really want to buy some shorts for Andrew as a Christmas gift. I love their shorts here. I bought him a pair a couple years ago. They're like dyed with different, I guess like products or something. This one is dyed with coconut. The one I got him before was dyed with like lava rock which is really cool so i'm gonna get him this cream version these are the shorts i got him a few years ago you can see that they said that their crater died i love shopping at crazy shirt because all of their shirts are super vintage looking and have such a nice feel to them and they're also really good quality okay i'm at abc store now and i specifically wanted to look at their hello kitty towel look at how cute these are oh my god it has all the islands 
We also have a whole section of all the tan Hello Kitties. This was literally my favorite section of the ABC store when I was a kid. I mean, it still is, but they have so much cute stuff. Everything is tan, except for cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rolls not tan. Okay, this is what I came here for. I wanted to get some of these like Bagu Hawaiian Hello Kitty bags. I mean, they're not actually Bagu, but they remind me of the Bagu bags. I think I want to get this one and maybe this one. The designs are just so cute. I'm obsessed with the tan Hello Kitty. Like literally nothing makes me happier. All right, we're all done shopping for the night. I got what I wanted. Definitely will be back and buying more. Good morning guys, it is the next day. I'm just out here on the balcony enjoying the beautiful view. I can't believe I get to wake up to the zoo every morning on this trip. It's literally so stunning. Let me show you guys. Here is our beautiful view this morning. There's actually people down there. I don't know if you can see, but they're doing the 7 a.m. morning yoga class. Anyways, I just got ready this morning because we're gonna go out and do some snorkeling. I have my hair in French braids because if I ever go in the ocean and my hair needs to be braided or else it's gonna be the most tangled mess ever. here to Kihei but on our way over we were driving and looking at the ocean and we actually saw a couple whales breach so we pulled over to a scenic route area and just watched all the whales like playing and breaching and like flapping their little tails it was so cool to see because it's about that time in the winter like December January where they start migrating I think from Alaska all the way down to Hawaii but the reason we are in Kia is because we wanted to hit up a beach that we really like here and then we're also grabbing some shave ice from this little shack it's called peace love shave ice and I specifically wanted to come here because um, they had the Malona flavor which is me and my sister's favorite and they also do magna ice cream Are you getting ice cream? yeah I'm gonna get the magna ice cream and then we have our Malona Extra, extra, extra milk. Are you vlogging done? I'm vlogging right now. <laughs> What's your vlogging for? For fun. She has a YouTube channel. For memories. Nice. That's fun. Thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I'll do the same, but with the macadamia and the ice cream, please. Yeah. By a food land on the way that we saw on the road for the ube mochi. Dad, they have them. Yes! Yes! Finding the ube mochi was the sole reason for us coming here. We actually, we had maybe driven past it like for like two or three minutes and I thought to myself, I was like, Dad, wait, maybe we should turn around and check if they have the ube mochi and that's what we did we turned the car right around and lucky for us they have it okay before we head to the beach we are making another pit stop at the wailea shops it's just a really nice shopping mall i wanted to come here just to walk around and see what they have we're in tiffany making some birthday purchases for ourselves 54 and i'm gonna need 25 we're currently in Soha. Ina is trying to find a new makeup bag. She's choosing between these two designs. I bought one of these bags at the in the Soha location in the Big Island last year. You guys have probably seen it in my living room. That's where I have it displayed. Oh my gosh, look at these buttons. 
surprised they don't have like a chi hu one. They have a how's it one. Where are we? There's Ian over there. <laughs> We're in the Olukai store. Ina is spying because she works at the corporate office. I'm kidding. She's just like seeing how it is on the ground. Of course, we gotta hit up every ABC store that we pass. Lena wants to show me something that she saw in here earlier. Oh, <gasps> and they got oh little bets on gosh. the back. Oh my gosh, you guys, they have a tan Hello Kitty and Friends keychain with your initial on it. I think I need this. Also, they only have three J's left. J is a very popular initial, apparently. Guys, we made it to the beach. The sun is out. It's a beautiful day. Let me show you. Here's the ocean. That's Ina over there getting out with her little floaty. And then there's also a nice view over here. Got all our stuff set up. Here, let's go. up shop and head back to the hotel good morning you guys it is another gorgeous morning here in Kanapali I'm out here editing a vlog honestly editing a vlog out here on this balcony with this view it makes editing this vlog 10 times more fun anyways now me and my sister we're gonna go off to island vintage coffee to get some breakfast i'm really looking forward to getting my hopia moana acai bowl i love that bowl from there if you guys are over there i would definitely recommend trying one of their acai bowls they're really good and then i think we get like a little latte or something I just got my coffee. I got the island latte with oat milk. You know what you get? Macadamia con mocha. Let's try her. That's Ina's favorite. Oh, so good. And then here's my bowl. I'm gonna take a bite of it now. <laughs> what are you doing? It looks gorgeous. You guys, look at that bowl. Okay. Mmm. I'm so good. Yeah, I like those. Those are really comfy for me. Ina got me the plug at Olukai. She revealed her identity after a couple <laughs> days. I was waiting for the manager to be there, that's why. We're in an ABC store. Look at this bag I found. Tell me it's not giving Dior. Like, it's so cute and it's only $25. I'm getting her. Like literally giving Dior, 100%. Wait, you guys, they have more Hello Kitty keychains. I got the initial one yesterday, but they have different designs here. I need it, I need it. You guys, I have a shopping problem, obviously, but I think I'm just fulfilling my inner child and buying whatever I want. Okay, wait, I think this is the winner. I completely missed this one earlier, but it's my Melody. We're getting her. All right, guys, it is now dinner time. We are back at Napili Market. I'm really craving some sushi, so I hope they have some good selections. Okay, they have a big selection. I was worried that they weren't gonna because it's like later in the day. I want this one, the spicy tuna crunch roll. My family's over here grabbing some of the hot food. This is the last of it for the day. Also, at the end of the day, there's only one butter mochi left. It looks like a good piece. I also grabbed one of these green tea lychee Hawaiian suns. guys we just finished dinner and the sun is basically now set i mean there's still 
kind of some light outside, but it's already getting dark. Actually, on the camera, it looks a lot brighter than it actually is for some reason. But yeah, it's just been a really chill and relaxed, beautiful night. And I will probably pick up the vlog tomorrow because I don't think we're going to do much the rest of the day today. So I'll just see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> In roof, I placed a pickup order. There are a lot of people here. I'm so glad we're just picking it up. Yay, we got it. All right, tin roof mukbang round two. We got more stuff. I got the mochiko chicken. Ina got dry mane. Mom got garlic shrimp over here. Dad got pork belly. And Ina and I each got our own large order of the fat chow fat. Fire. Oh, there you go. Mmm. I mean, while we're in the area, we might as well hit up Gurry Gurry again. Am I right? We got our Gurry Gurry round two. I got another four scoop. Two scoops strawberry, two scoops pineapple. Ina just got two scoops pineapple in this little mini cup. Again, look at how good their prices are for the amount of ice cream that you get. All right, guys, we've made another stop to Foodland. Can you guess what we're trying to get? Of course, we're here for this. Wait, they Wait, got I a full ass tray. tray. Wait, is that it's a full tray. Ooh, that's the one. Is it cheaper? Uh, I don't know. Price? Mom's also got some calamaries. Good morning guys. It is pretty windy out today. I feel like we got really lucky with the weather all this week. This is just the one day the weather isn't as optimal as we would like it to be and it is our last full day here. So very grateful that the rest of our trip we were blessed with really good weather. And today is actually my mom's birthday. So we're gonna be celebrating her and kind of doing whatever she wants. But yeah, I am just getting ready for the day. My mom is currently doing some yoga. And so I think when she gets back, she wants to go out for breakfast at Island Vintage Coffee. And then also today, my sister actually has a tattoo appointment with our tattoo artist here and good family friend now. His name is Booj. If you guys have been watching my vlogs for a while, I did a vlog about two years ago, the last time I was in Maui and I got my first tattoo. Here, I can show you guys. So this was my first ever tattoo that I got. It's just the Hawaiian Island chain and it says, Ohana over Maui specifically because Maui is me and my family's like basically like our second home it's just like our favorite place in the world so I wanted something to represent that and it's somewhere where I have like the best memories of my life and Ina also got a tattoo from him and she's actually going to be adding on to her tattoo so we're going to be doing that today as well and actually last night we went over to where he's staying at and kind of just caught up with him and everything but he is actually a survivor of the Lahaina fires his home was lost he lost basically everything and we were also there with one of his friends Bubba he was uh that he was actually a firefighter so we got to hear a lot of stories from them last night firsthand it was definitely like a privilege to be able to talk with them like that firsthand and and you know we were just there to listen and to support them in any way that we could um but yeah we got to hear their stories but yeah so we just like hung out with them last night which was really nice for a few hours we're gonna go do ina's tattoo today other than that i'm not really sure what else we're gonna get up to today i did want to go snorkeling but i don't know it looks really choppy in the water and it's really windy so i don't know we'll see if it dies down later okay i just asked my dad if i could go snorkeling and he was like no not with those winds out there and so i was like okay i mean that's what i thought but i was like still trying to go on my last day but this wasn't meant to be i mean i had really good 
snorkeling sessions this trip. <laughs> You know I said I wasn't gonna go snorkeling earlier because my dad said no, it's too windy, the waves are too strong. Well, my mom looked over at Black Rock and the waves look really calm over there. So we're gonna drive over there and see if I can go snorkeling over there, if it's calm enough. If not, we'll probably just lay out by the beach. But yeah, we're gonna try. around the shops one last time see if there's anything i want to pick up before we leave i was actually filming with adeline adeline warren on youtube if you don't know her go watch her videos i'm obsessed with her vlogs i love her so much anyways i was dming her because they have so much cute tan hello kitty stuff here that you can really only get in hawaii and she has this like obsession slash fixation on hello kitty right now so i dm'd her and i'm like hey on the off chance that you see this like i'm in hawaii right now they have so much cute hello kitty stuff i can pick some stuff up for you if you want we can like meet an oc and i can give it to you and she actually dm me back and i saw her pictures of all the hello kitty stuff in the abc store and she said that she wants these two keychains and then also this cup so we're gonna go and grab that as well while we're shopping and yeah let's go spend some money okay so these two little keychains are the ones she wants i gotta get like a good one in the back for her okay i picked out two good ones for her and she also wants one of these pink cups adeline if you're watching this here's a little haul of your stuff <laughs> oh thank you and now i just want to browse in malibu shirts over there this is one of my favorite places to buy shirts because they're like vintage looking and feeling this tote bag is so freaking cute but the handles are so small i wish it had a larger handle guys i have so many cute prints of tote bags <gasps> wait this is a print or an artwork from the artist i really like from hawaii i think her name's heather i forget her last name but i love her artwork i didn't know they printed them on tote bags here wait they have this hawaiian airlines shirt and i'm kind of obsessed with it i also saw this one the other day and i really like it too we're here at Bouges. ina's got her numbing cream wrapped up right there she's adding to that tattoo how nervous are you for the pain I even got thick skin. I'm a thick girl. <laughs> Pretty high pain tolerance. Hey, Booch. Hi. She does? Where is she? Yeah, we've got a lot of them. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, shit. It's Bro, that's sick. Dude, that took literally like 45 minutes. That's insane. 30 minutes? That's insane. Dude, it looks so good. Damn. That's fire. Wow. Yeah. It's our last morning here. We're all packed up, about to head to the airport. I'm out here on the balcony taking in the view for one last time. Oh, I'm gonna miss it so much. Also, it's so windy today, as you can see. Also, I hope you can hear me with all the wind in the background. Until next time, Maui, I will miss you so much.